everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm Amber Rose also known as the religious hippie you can find my official website linked in the description below or simply just type in the religious so what we're talking about today is we're talking about 10 items I think all Catholics should have. This is a part two, so if you don't see an item listed here that you think should be, it might be in part one, which is linked in the description below. Or if you don't see it in part one or part two, feel free to comment it below. Let me know what you think all Catholics should have. So we're just going to jump into this right away. The first thing that I think all Catholics should have, part two, is a crucifix. I have two crucifixes. I have one over my bed and then I have one right above me on this wall. I would show you right now but I'm just gonna put a picture here because I don't want to mess up this. <laughs> crucifixes are a great reminder of our faith and Jesus's death on the cross and we should always look at one during our morning prayers when we're praying the rosary or something of that nature. It's always really important to have some sort of religious art around you when you're praying so that you can really get into the mindset. But a crucifix is one of those main ways that we can really remember our faith, remember why Jesus died for us, and it's a great reminder how Jesus overcame death. So I highly suggest getting a crucifix. I know they can be fairly expensive, but honestly it's worth it to invest in a really good crucifix and don't forget to get it blessed by your priest. The second thing I would highly suggest is holy water. I have holy water. It's in my purse because I took it to go refill it. I have three holy water bottles. I keep one in my car, one in my purse, and one in my room. I just went to go refill all of them, so they're all in my purse currently. Um, but your church should, should have holy water available for free that you can put in little holy water bottles. Um, you can get holy water bottles at your local Catholic shop or you can just order them off online. I mean, they're not that expensive. They're like really cheap. Holy water is such a powerful tool to use against the devil. There are so many saints who have, I believe it was St. Catherine of Siena, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, who threw holy water at the devil and the devil never came back. So it is so important that we have holy water and we bless ourselves, we bless our room, and we bless those who have, we have authority over because the devil hates holy water. Maybe he just hates taking a bath. Number three. All Catholics should have some sort of outdoor statue or sign that declares their faith. I know some people that decide to fly a Vatican flag. That works. I know a lot of people that have an Our Lady statue. A lot of people have a St. Francis statue. I have two Our Lady statues, one St. Francis statue. Um, and I know a lot of people who have Sacred Heart statues. Just something to declare your faith and take up space. Honestly, I think Dr. Taylor Marshall said it best, is that we need to take up space um, as Catholics and be in the public square and be in the public eye. And we do that by doing subtle things like putting a statue of Mary out in our front lawn or putting a uh, flying the Vatican flag, things like that. The fifth thing that I think all Catholics should have is a daily missal or a Sunday missal, one of the two. This is really important to understand our faith and dive a little deeper and be able to actually pray along with the Mass instead of just standing there doing nothing. So I don't have my daily missal with me because I keep it in my car and I'm not going outside right now. It's like raining and storming. Um, so I do have this, which is, oh my gosh my Sunday Missal, and then Catholic Girls Manual and Sunday Missal. So this, these two kind of go together. I got them from an antique shop, and they used to belong to a lady named Adelaide, and it was given to her by Father Rockland. Yeah, something like that. So it's pretty cool. She actually didn't live too far away from me. I don't know what happened to her, but I pray for her because I assume if her books are in an antique shop, she's dead. Just an assumption. But I do pray for her. But these are both her missiles, and I use these on Sundays to help me pray along with the Mass. Um, it's very nice, and I, I absolutely love these missiles, especially the prayers in them because it's so old. Like, I love old things, okay? I'm sorry, I do. <laughs> but make sure you get a missile, whether it's a Sunday missile or it's an everyday missile. Um, I would say everyday missile because then you can go to daily Mass. But, you know, I think it's okay to start off with a Sunday missile too. Number six is having a holy water font. Now, I have a holy water font that belonged to my great-great-grandmother that is in my hope chest. I have a holy water font that is hanging right over here that um, belonged to, I think it was my mom. Maybe it was my grandma. 
one of the two. And then we have a holy water font downstairs of the Holy Family. It's just a wonderful way to bless yourself, you know, in and out of houses, especially when we're out in the world and all of those secular modernistic ideals can sometimes weigh on us. It's just really nice to dip your fingers in the holy water and bless yourself really quick, whether you're coming in or going out. Um, it's just a great remembrance of our faith and our baptism and what our mission is as Catholics. So I really do like holy water fonts. It puts our faith right out there in front of people who are coming in. And if they're Catholic, guess what? They're going to use it too. Okay, number seven is going to be Catholic planners or a Catholic calendar. I'm going to link some of my favorites below for you guys if you guys want to check those out. But basically, these do really help. <laughs> a lot because if you have a calendar that already has the liturgical calendar built into it, you don't have to go between like Catholic calendar and modern calendar. Like they're all combined into one. And so I really like having a Catholic planner or a Catholic calendar just to keep track of like random things. I don't use it to keep track of all my business stuff that I do. I use different calendars for that. When it comes to like everyday life and to-do lists and things like that, it's really important that I, I keep the liturgical calendar intertwined with my everyday calendar. So then that way I know whose feast day it is. Sometimes there's a Bible verse that's involved. Um, it's just another way I can implement my faith into my everyday life. Okay, number eight is holy salt and holy oil. These are also known as sacramentals. Um, metals are also known as sacramentals. Basically anything that's quote unquote blessed is considered a sacramental. Um, so holy salt is really great. You can use it in cooking along with your holy oil as long as you know it's gonna be consumed and it's not gonna be like thrown out down the drain or whatever. Because again, still a sacramental. You can use salt as a blessing. Again, this is not a superstitious thing. It should not be used as superstition because the blessings come from God. But when something's blessed, it does have power to get rid of demons and things of that nature. So holy salt is really important if you feel like you might be under demonic oppression, obsession, or possession. I know, lots of ishins. But basically, you can just sprinkle a little bit of holy salt, you know, in the corners. My mom put it in the walls when we redid our house. That works too. Um, it's really important to use it and also to use holy oil. You can use holy oil to bless yourself, to bless others. And if you're not sure how to get holy water, holy oil, or holy salt, you just take water, olive oil, and kosher salt to your priest and he will bless them. Just make sure you remember to mark the label of whatever container you put it in so you remember it's blessed. Okay, number four is the Miraculous Medal. I love the Miraculous Medal. It's almost on every single one of my rosaries. I actually bought 60 Miraculous Medals, and while I was at the parish in St. Patrick's, they actually have a lot of St. Gianna relics. They have a piece of her scarf, a piece of her wedding dress, and they have uh, some of her hair, which is a first-class relic. And so I touched those 60 Miraculous Medals to that first-class first relic of her hair, and now they are third-class relics. Um, so that's really exciting. So I absolutely love the Miraculous Medal. I'm going to do a whole video on that separately, but there have been so many miracles that have come from the Miraculous Medal, and I highly suggest you look into the devotion and you get one if you possibly can, because it is just such an amazing devotion. And I know Heather has talked about this, A Catholic Mom's Life. She runs the Catholic Mom's Life channel. Um, and her own experiences with the Miraculous Medal, and I can only back up what she says because it absolutely is phenomenal. The, the, the graces that flow through this medal from God to, through Our Lady's hands to us is phenomenal. And so I really highly suggest that you get a Miraculous Medal, you get it blessed. I have a Miraculous Medal ring that I wear. Um, I'm not wearing it right now because it's bedtime almost, and I already took off all my jewelry except for... Oh, I forgot to take off my necklace. But overall, I highly suggest you get a Miraculous Medal. And number 10, the last thing that I think all Catholics should have is Catholic coffee and a Catholic mug. And you wanna know the best place to get one? Our sponsor today. The Little Catholic Box. The Little Catholic Box sent me this beautiful Our Lady of Guadalupe mug and this delicious coffee. I absolutely love this coffee, whether it's iced or hot. You heard me guys, I like it hot as well. And the mug just adds a little bit more of Catholicism to my everyday life. You guys can find all of these items and more on their website, and you can even subscribe to their monthly boxes. Use my affiliate link in the description below for 10% off your purchase.
I love this company and I know you guys will too. The Little Catholic Box. Celebrate your faith in everything you do. What is a better way to celebrate your faith than to get up in the morning, get a Catholic coffee cup, and then put Catholic coffee in the Catholic coffee cup. I love it. I love it so much. Every single day when I wake up, I'm like, am I going to choose St. Francis mug? Am I going to choose Our Lady Guadalupe mug? Am I going to send, am I going to choose this Psalm mug? Like there are so many options. I only have three. Okay. There's not so many options, but like every day I get so excited because I'm like, what coffee am I going to put in this one? Am I going to put tea in this one? Don't ask me. Maybe this is just like my milestone for being super old, getting excited to wake up and put tea in a specific mug. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what items you think all Catholics should use. Again, this was a part two, so if you don't see an item here, it's probably going to be in part one. And if not, feel free to come back here and type in the chat box whatever you guys think Catholics should have. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Bye! <laughs>